Princess Kate, renowned for her impeccable sense of style, recently embraced a more relaxed look while attending a rave alongside her friend Rose Hanbury in Norfolk. This occasion saw the Princess of Wales enjoying a meal with her Norfolk neighbours, the Marquis and Marchioness of Chumley. On this particular outing, Kate chose a comfortable ensemble, opting for a bardo top paired with jeans. While this appearance might mark Kate's first foray into the world of music festivals, it's not the only time she's chosen to embrace a more laid-back style. Prior to her marriage to Prince William in 2011, Kate, originally a commoner, was known for her more casual approach to fashion. Back in 2007, Kate Middleton and Prince William went to the Mahiki nightclub in London allegedly to a friend's party. Kate wore a Max Azria silky floral dress, which she accessorized with a chunky necklace. She has also opted for the oversized earrings and Indian-style bangle bracelets. The princess also opted out for the Russell and Bromley leather shoulder hobo bag in brown and gold and peep toe shoes. Before Kate became the Duchess, she loved peep toe shoes by Russell and Bromley. Around the same time, Kate loved to visit Mahiki Club along with her sister Pippa and William before they were a married couple. In 2006, the princess partied all night long at Richard Branson's summer and tennis party with Guy Pelly, a friend of William's. Kate wore a red and black floral dress, as well as a black jacket, and looked elegant as always. But there was a time when she was happy to let her hair down, seen here in a 1970s-style sequin dress plus a huge sparkling ring on a night out at Mahiki Nightclub in 2007. Also in 2007, Kate showed up for a private house party in Chelsea looking gorgeous in a light blue and white printed strappy dress. The Prince of Wales has been known to indulge in a spot of dad dancing, not least when he was spotted enjoying himself at Coco Nightclub in Camden in June. In 2017, the future king was spotted busting some old-school moves inside the Farinet nightclub in Verbia during a lad's skiing trip to Switzerland, and he was once again alongside Guy Pelli. And it was little better on tour in Southeast Asia and the South Pacific in 2012, when he seemed to lack the more natural rhythm of his wife. On 2012, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge became true South Pacific royalty today, when they donned colourful skirts and danced the night away at a gathering of island chiefs. William and Kate shimmied, swayed their hips and moved their arms as they joined six island communities of the South Pacific nation at a fateless or local dance. The Duchess looked the more natural and got to her feet time after time to join the performers. The rousing event capped a busy but exciting day for the royals who were welcomed with a greeting not seen since the Queen last set foot on the Funafuti, Tuvalu's main island in 1982.